Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm, and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Carano wrote, citing Lucasfilm's statement. Now, here's, here's the thing. She never said those things. Gina Carano never denigrated anybody, never insulted anybody. And she points this out in a long X post where she says, I never used aggressive language. I shared thought provoking quotes, pictures, memes, and I occasionally occasionally used my words, not with aggression, but with respect and the occasional comedy to keep the mood light. She mentions that in one instance, she said beep, bop, boop, which is in no way. Here, here we go. She says, so what did I do? Uh, she says, I was uh, I was called a transphobe for making droid noises from Star Wars. Beep, bop, boop was obviously directed to the online bullies and did not in any way denigrate transgender people. But they did fire a uh, fire. Her. She says a couple months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that if you had been fired from the platform from uh, fired, I think she means for using the platform X for exercising your right to free speech. He would like to offer these people legal representation. Quite the noble offer, but never in my wildest dreams would I have thought anyone would take uh, take on my case against Lucasfilm and Disney. Still, I did respond back. I think I qualify and thousands of people agreed, but I didn't expect anything. To my surprise, a few months ago, I received an email from a lawyer who had been hired by X to look into my story and many others. Turns out after sending them as much information as I could, I could gather these past few months, my now lawyers and X believe wholeheartedly in my case and are moving forward. I would like to express my deepest gratitude and thank you to Elon Musk and X for giving me the opportunity to bring my case to light. As for me, I would like to pick up where I left off and continue my journey of creating and participating in storytelling, which is my utmost passion and everything I worked for. It has been difficult to move forward with the lies and labels stuck on me, backed and encouraged by the most powerful entertainment company in the world. I am grateful someone has come to my defense in such a powerful way and look forward to clearing my name. It would appear the reporting I've seen is that she is seeking to be recast. Let me make sure we have that. Is that uh, I believe that's the uh, perhaps not. I saw that in a Hollywood reporter. That should she win the lawsuit, she would want to be recast uh, on the show Mandalorian. I don't know if that, ex if that is exactly what's happening here, but Elon Musk isn't stopping there. He tweeted, if you were discriminated against by Disney or its subsidiaries, ABC, ESPN, Marvel, etc., just reply to this post to re receive legal support. Wow. This is going to be big. Uh, I want to just say as we get into this, because uh, we also we, we can read this post he put up from Disney. It's good for business. There are a lot of people who are scared to use Twitter X. Let's let we'll stop dead naming the platform. You know, we're almost there. <laughs> they're scared because they're gonna get fired. This is Elon Musk's one of his smartest business moves. It's not even about the culture war. I mean, I'm sure it is, honestly, but I'm sure at the company, there are some business minded individuals who asked Elon, why sue for people getting fired from the platform? And Elon said, look, how many people would be on the platform verified with their profile picture, paying $8 a month, if they were confident they would not be fired for speaking up. A lot of people who use the platform won't sign up out of fear. It will connect to them. And then when they express their opinions, they will lose their lives. We defend them when they get fired and they'll feel more comfortable. We'll get more users. We'll get more paying subscribers. Not to mention, Elon Musk probably said, think of the ideological press. When we announce we're doing this, every person who opposes this, this, anti-free speech is going to sign up to support us because they know that that money is helping to fund pushing back against cancel culture. I mean, maybe. Um, I think that I'm, I'm starting to think that he's he's got a chip on his shoulder now. I mean, he is in a position where he's got the federal government, uh, you know, starting to really look at him and he's, he's getting pressure from uh, the administration. And he, when the president is you know making remarks about you saying things like we're going to look into you that's a pretty intimidating kind of thing so i think that there's probably a lot of personal uh in, impulse there you know but uh i mean maybe he is i don't know 